about that. Employment issues based on a handshake. Well, and, and you know, the, the theory that w when we were talking about coming back on the show and, and having an opportunity to talk, um, shortly after that conversation you and I had, I had um, a meeting with uh, some prospective clients and they were explaining a circumstance for me. And, um, and I'm always looking for um, what, I, what I view to be useful information for your audience. And the, the entrepreneur... And it is, by the way. So. Well, thank you. I'm, I'm trying. You are. Um, and the entrepreneur is somebody, in my mind, who won't be stopped. They're going to do what they're going to do. In the sense that, you know, you started businesses, you're running businesses, and people look at you like, are you kidding me? And, uh, but it's a passion. It's, it's, a, it's a way of seeing the world, quite honestly. Um, but included in that, and, and this is what struck me, and this is what, this is what gets us to our topic today, is um, entrepreneurs will oftentimes say, you know, I don't need it in writing, I can do this in a handshake. And you know what? From one entrepreneur to another, that works. I mean, it really does work sometimes. And there's a great story about a guy who decided he and McDonald's, he was going to sell all his tomatoes to McDonald's, and they did it on a paper napkin while waiting in line one day with the purchasing guy because they happened to run into each other somewhere. And on a napkin, you can agree to that kind of stuff because if you have, if you have two entrepreneurs, people of like mind mm -hmm. and like mm -hmm. vision and drive, they will get that done. Um, the the challenge becomes when you're dealing with you have that mentality, sh handshake mentality, but you're dealing with people where a handshake is a joke. I mean, it really not a joke. That, that's too harsh. Well, I guess I I, sometimes that's not too harsh. But well, <laughs> and and what I mean by that is when you're dealing with employees. Okay, because yes. if you're an entrepreneur and you have any success whatsoever, at some point you start paying people to work for or with you. Yes. I, I always say you're working with me and never for because yes. it's a teamwork. But you have people and they're doing, they're performing services and you're paying them and weekly, monthly, whatever the, the interim is. Um, and at the beginning, you're doing this on a handshake. You like this person, you think they fit the mold, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But that begins to grow if you're if you're enjoying success, which I hope you are. That begins to grow, and there comes a point where a handshake really doesn't cut it anymore, because as you take on employees, you take on responsibility. You take on additional duties to them, the state, the federal governments, with regard to not just taxes, but what you're allowed to do and not allowed to do. And there's a broad categories, and we're not going to get into the minutia because it would just glaze the eyes of anybody that's <laughs> listening to this. But I was trying to think to myself, um, you know, is that a problem for the entrepreneur? And it is. They don't want to handle that stuff. They're not interested in sitting down and spending hours creating an employee handbook, by way of example. Uh, what they want is people that are going to come in, give them an honest day's work for an honest day's pay, and, and help them realize their vision. And when they take that relationship too informally, uh, which is often the case, and not just for entrepreneurs, but for ordinary people in business too, that's when you can really get yourself in trouble. And that's what I was in my mind's uh, I, what I was referring to this was death by handshake.